Hello, welcome back to another lesson on Learn Wagtail. In the last couple of videos, we learned how to register a snippet and how to choose them inside of an orderable and how to loop through them in our template. And I had also mentioned that snippets are a really good place to use blog categories. Now you can absolutely set up your blog categories the same way we did with our blog authors where you have a snippet chooser panel, or you can use more of a checkbox kind of style. And in this lesson, we're going to go with the checkbox style just so I can show you how that's actually done. So in our blog slash models.py file, we've got a blog author, we've got a blog orderable, we've got a blog listing page, and we have a blog detail page. And what we're going to want to add is a blog category and then register it as a snippet. So I like to try to keep my snippets sort of somewhere around each other. So we've got a class blog author here. It's a Django model. And here we're registering the snippet. So let's go ahead and do basically the exact same thing with a little slightly different data, I guess. So let's add class blog category models.model because it's a regular Django model blog category for a snippet. That's our doc string. And let's give it a name and let's also give it a, a slug. Now, the reason I'm going to give us a slug is because at some point, if you wanted to take this repo and extend it, you could so that that slug will be your category identifier in your URL if you ever wanted to create some sort of search or filter parameter. So like on your blog listing page where it's like your website.com slash blog, and then you could have question mark category is equal to coding, and it will filter out all of the different posts based on the slug coding. You can absolutely do that too. And that is exactly why we're going to add a slug here. Now we're not going to get into that right now. We just simply want to add a blog category. Now the category is going to be a char field with a max length of 255. Hopefully no category ever gets to be that long. And our slug is going to be models.slug field. And in here we want a verbose name, I guess. Let's call this verbose name slug. Yeah, that's right. Let's go with slug. Why not? Uh, let's also, let's also add allow Unicode is equal to true. Why not? Let's give this one a max length, a max length of 255 and some help text, maybe help text, a slug to identify posts by this category. Now we could also just use the category ID, but sometimes when you're filtering by things in a URL, you don't really want to be like category is equal to one. That is such a 2005 way of doing things. People want to see that slug. If you're looking at a URL, if you're a user and you're looking at some sort of URL structure, you want to see that slug. Even if, if it just says category is equal to coding, then people know right off the bat that the category is coding and they know what to expect from your page now. Let's go ahead, let's give this some metadata, meta, 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 verbose, nope, verbose name is equal to blog category, catego category, third time's the charm, verbose name plural is equal to blog categories because it does not just add an S, adds an IES. And uh, let's add ordering. Ordering is equal to, and let's order by the name. Okie dokie. Now that's cool, but I got ahead of myself here because none of this data is actually going to show up in our Wagtail CMS unless we give it panels. Panels is equal to, let's give us a field panel for name. Let's give the other one a field panel for slug because these are basically just input fields. They're regular text fields. And lastly, let's go register the snippet. So let's do register snippet blog category. Save, open up the terminal. Life is okay in there. So let's go ahead and run Python 3, manage.py, make migrations. I can't type in this video, make migrations and, and Python 3, manage.py, migrate, and, and Python 3, manage.py, run server. All three commands in one line for one beautiful command. All right, migrations were were made, they were then applied, and now our server's running again. So, let's close this down, that's from a prior lesson. And let's open up our snippets. Now we have blog authors and blog categories, neat. And in our blog category, we have name, so I don't know, let's call this coding, and the slug will be coding. 
Let's add another one. Let's add web development. I don't know, websites. I'm running out of ideas here. Also, we'll tackle this in just a moment, the blog category object. And let's add one more in here just so that we have a nice list to work with. Let's call this one uh, people skills. People skills. And because it's a slug, it should be more like people skills. All right, so we see this blog category object one, two, and three. And you can actually see that three is not even in the right place. And that's because we have ordering set. Ordering is basically saying order by the name. So go in alphabetical order. But it's not giving us a name. So let's, let's go give it a name. Def, dunder, string, self. Return self.name, self.name. Firefox or Chrome or whatever browser you like. And here it is. So this is the name of our model. And that's why that, that string magic method is pretty important because otherwise you're not going to know how to name these. So we can see here that this is an alphabetical order, coding, people, skills, and websites. And just like that, we have a brand new snippet, but let's go ahead and let's edit a blog page. So we've got blog, we were editing blog post one in a previous lesson, and we don't have categories in here. So let's go ahead and add some categories. Let's put it right underneath authors. All right, so here we are. We are in our blog detail class. We have custom title, blog image, blog authors. This is our inline panel for the multiple blog authors. Let's go ahead and create a brand new multi-field panel. So we've got a multi-field panel. And remember, this takes a list. And in this list, it's only going to have a field panel. And this field panel is going to be called categories. Now at this point, you're probably like, what? So one sec, this is because I'm working ahead and then I'm going to roll back what I'm working on. So just bear with me on this one. Widget is equal to forms dot uh, check box select multiple, I believe it's called. And let's give this a name. Heading is equal to category, categories, comma, comma, chameleon. And lastly, when I said I was working ahead, uh, I was actually working ahead. What we need here, somewhere in here, is we actually need a field called categories because this doesn't exist. We're not using a related name. We're using a regular field name from this model. So let's go ahead and create categories in here. Now we're going to have to put categories is equal to, and this is a strange one, parental, many, too many, field, and, and this one's going to link back to our blog category. So blog dot blog catig category for the life of me I cannot spell the word category and blank is equal to true so that a blog does not necessarily need to have a category now I'm going to save this flake 8 is going to say oh you have things in here that I don't have for instance forms and parental many to many which is also typoed parental many to many and let's go and add these now. So let's scroll back up to our top. Parental many to many will come from the same place as parental key, which is our model cluster dot fields. And forms simply comes from Django. So from Django import forms. Open up our terminal. Things look a okay. But when we refresh our page, we're going to see a problem. Oh no, SQL error, no such table, blog, blog detail page, categories. Okay, so let's go ahead and create that. So you open up your terminal. You run python3 manage.py make migrations. Python3 manage.py migrate. And python3 manage.py run server. I'm just running all of those all in one command. I glued them together with two ampersands together. And now we can see that it added field categories to blog detail page. And it also applied that migration file for me. And then when it's done, it ran the server. So instead of doing three commands, I did one long command. I'm gonna refresh my page here. And here we go. Look at this, categories. Now I have checkboxes. Yes, yes, this is nice. I can have multiples in here. So let's do uh, coding and websites. Cool, that's been saved. 
And by the way, at any point in time, if you want to actually just remove these, you totally can. You can just go into your snippets and you can remove coding, for instance. Now the last thing we need to do is we need to loop through our template to make sure that these actually show up. So let's go ahead and open up our blog detail page. Blog detail page, we're opening up this one because we were working on the blog detail model. So let's go ahead and open this live. Let's also do a quick check here just so that we're all on the same page. Uh, Django version 2.1.5, I'm using Python 3.7. Wagtail 2.4, tag it 0.23, and debug toolbar 1.11. It's always good to check in every now and then. So this is our blog detail page. We don't have any categories in here, but we can see, we can see that we did in fact select two categories. Let's make these show up. Let's open up VS Code, and I'm gonna make this ugly, and again, behind the scenes, I'll make it prettier. Let's do this. Categories. And let's make a list of these categories. Now the first thing we need to do is we need to loop through these categories. So let's create a loop for cat in self dot categories. And because this is a many to many relationship, so let's do categories is equal to here we go, parental many to many field. So this is a many to many relationship, meaning that your blog categories can live in their own table, and also any other page can reference them. Basically, it's a snippet, but all we're doing is instead of having a snippet select or a snippet chooser panel, we are simply saying use checkboxes. Outdent that, and four, and in our list, let's go ahead and let's just throw the category name, cat.name. And I will show you that this shows up. There it is. Categories, coding, and websites. And if we wanted the slug, we could also do that as well. So for instance, we could do uh, da -da -da -da, cat dot slug. Just gonna fix this up here. VS Code sometimes does some funny formatting for me. Now that slug is just going to go to like coding, which is not a website or anything. So what we can do here is we can do self.getParent.url slash category is equal to the slug. Save that, refresh, and let's see what happens. I made a mistake, and I just saw that quickly, is there should be no slash. And refresh our page. This one will open up uh, localhost 8000 slash blog category is equal to coding. Localhost 8000 blog category is equal to coding. And when I click on websites, localhost 8000 slash blog slash question mark category is equal to websites. Okay, cool. I mean, this page is still pretty ugly. It doesn't actually function very well visually, but our Wagtail stuff is working the way we want it to work. Now these are the categories that are added to this specific page. If we wanted a list of all categories and wanted to possibly add that to our listing page, we could go in here and let's go find a listing page. So we have, our, we have our blog listing page in here. Let's scroll down. We have some context. Let's get all of our categories. So let's put this in here, categories, because this does not technically live within the listing page. There's no property in here called categories, we need to go and get all those categories. So let's go ahead and type blog category dot objects dot all. And then let's open up our blog listing page, blog listing page. And essentially we can have the exact same loop. The only difference is we don't need self or all. So I'm going to copy this blog listing page. Uh, let's get rid of that special link because that's not necessary. And, and, da, da, da. please hold. Where do we want to put this? Special link. Sure, let's put it up there where the special link was. So this is not going to work. All I did was copy and paste. It simply says categories because I've got an H2 in there. This is not referencing self because there is no categories property on this model in this blog listing page. And we don't need all because we're already returning an entire list. And in fact, that list that we're returning 
here is a query set. So it's basically a list of objects. Refresh our page. And uh, we can actually see that the URL broke. So this is going to go to localhost 8000 question mark category is equal to coding. And the reason for that is because again, copy and paste can be a dangerous thing. Let's just go ahead, get rid of that. And here, if I click on this, this is going to go to blog slash categories equal to coding. Bam. People skills. Blog category is equal to people dash skills. So we now see that this is actually working. The only thing you're going to need to implement, and I'm going to leave this in your hands, is filtering through your blog posts in your context. So wherever you have these in here, you just need to do a dot filter and filter by the category slug. It's a little bit tricky, but I'm, I'm going to leave that in your hands. So that's all there is to adding a snippet, which we have done twice now, but we've also named the snippet. So let's Let's go find our snippet and I'll show you what we are talking about in this summary. Blog category, where are you? There you are. So we have a blog category, Django model. We have a name field, we've got a slug field. We have two field panels to make sure they show up in the Wagtail CMS. We have a verbose name, a plural name because the pl plural name is not simply adding an S. That doesn't work for the word category. We have turned on default ordering and we have given this a string to reference so it doesn't just say blog category object one, blog category object two, blog category object three. And then we registered this as a snippet. And lastly, if I scroll on down here, we added a categories. This is just a property to our blog detail page. It's a parental many to many field. Basically, this is your snippet chooser panel. And all we said in our panel here was I scroll this over. Use the widget forms that checkbox select multiple. Basically, just add checkboxes. Don't make it a snippet chooser panel. Don't make it a drop down. Just make it a bunch of checkboxes. And lastly, we learned how to loop through these. So there you go. That's all there is for creating snippets and looping through them in your template. We have done a couple different varieties of this now. You should be fairly familiar. If you're not familiar, I highly suggest grabbing that git commit that will be in the comments down below and just playing around with it on your computer. There's no better way to learn than actually by doing. And hey, if you like this video, you can always subscribe, you can share, you can leave a comment. My name is Caleb Tallinn. I am the voice behind this video. I'm an author on learnwagtail.com. I am a lover of Wagtail. What a beautiful content management system. If you want more tutorials, or you want more videos like this, you can find it on the learnwagtail.com website. And of course, if I did not go into enough detail about anything for you, uh, you can always find out more on either the Django docs or the Wagtail docs. The Wagtail docs can be found at docs.wagtail.io. Thanks for tuning in and I'll see you in the next video.